These weird looking lamps are called lava lamps. They were popular during the days of the hippies way back around the late 1960s. And you can make one of these cool lava lamps in your own kitchen. All right, here's what you're gonna need. Start with a bottle. Bottle here. I'm gonna use uh, the least expensive vegetable oil that I could find, and I'm gonna fill it up to about the three quarter mark here with our oil. The next ingredient, a little bit of water. Water, of course, is more dense, and so it's going to sink to the bottom. Perfect. So now if you look at the setup right here, we have the water on the bottom and the oil on the top. Next ingredient, food coloring. Pick your favorite color. Let's make this one red. Of course, it's water-based, so it's going to travel down. Now, the cool part is that the oil isn't colored by the food color. So that coloring is sitting there in the very bottom. And now we're gonna add one more ingredient. You're gonna need some Alka-Seltzer. Now Alka-Seltzer is gonna be great because when we drop the Alka-Seltzer in, it's not gonna react with the oil because Alka-Seltzer and oil don't react, but when it touches the water, you're gonna start to get some fizzing. So watch, we drop it down inside like this. Now all of a sudden you start to get that bubbling action. And as you start to get that bubbling action, look at what it does. You get that lava lamp kind of effect because of all that reaction that's happening inside. Alka-Seltzer mixes with the water, produces carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide hooks onto uh, the water. The water lifts up in these little globules, comes to the top, and you get this beautiful kind of reaction. is so cool. You know, the only thing that would make this better would make it like a traditional lava lamp, and that would be to have light coming up from the bottom. The trick here is just to get a really powerful flashlight. This is perfect. This one stands up, so it's great. And now the bottle just sits right here on top. So now we get to see what's happening up from below. All right, food coloring once again. So here's our food coloring. The red looks so good last time. Let's do it again. Last thing to do, just drop in the Alka-Seltzer. Watch this. Ah, it's beautiful because it just lights it from the bottom there. You get this beautiful burst of color. 